so you decided to become their character. You replaced the old radio and then played an audio file telling her to stab herself repeatedly with a knife. You knew she was delusional and had episodes of schizophrenia. She followed your instructions and eventually bled to death due to her self-inflicted injuries. Since all the evidence pointed to a suicide, you weren't charged with anything. You finally got what you wanted. You were finally free. You might be wondering how exactly you ended up dead. Well, for the first few months, you lived your life carefree. You actually enjoyed life to some extent, not being tied down by an ill relative. But eventually, that all came crashing down. It started off with brief, horrific, gruesome nightmares. Visions of her stabbing herself endlessly, blood gushing out of her wounds, flooding your mind with blood-red guilt. 
slowly these nightmares leak into your daily life. You'd see her out of the corner of your eye, whether you were driving, walking down the street, or at work. Even though you killed her, she never really left. She lived in your mind and haunted you every day until you eventually couldn't fall asleep. Every time you closed your eyes, even for the briefest of moments, she'd manifest in your subconscious. Eventually you went to the hospital and you were prescribed sleep medicine, but that only suppressed the issue. Slowly your body adjusted to the medicine and you needed to increase the dose for the medicine to be effective. This process kept repeating until you were taking multiple times the recommended amount. You were addicted, until one night you overdosed on sleep medication. Right now, in this moment, your physical body is currently in a hospital bed, hovering between the thin line of life and death. You're still probably wondering why you're here in God's basement. I'll finally tell you who I am, and what this place really is. God's basement is a realm for those who have committed great sin, but are still redeemable. The individuals that arrive in God's basement relive their own versions of hell, allowing them to reflect on their life and watch their slow descent into evil. Their resentment, hate, bitterness, and jealousy accumulate, until those emotions manifest themselves through atrocious acts, yours being murder. You were backed into a corner, watching your life slowly pass you by. All those opportunities you sacrificed. All that potential wasted. You became bitter and resentful. Many could sympathize with you. Many might have even done the same. You were hopeless, and it felt like you were inside a living hell. I am called the Operator. I am an entity that manifests in God's basement. I manifest myself in different ways depending on the person. My job is to guide the person inside God's basement and allow them to relive their life from a different perspective. In your case, I manifested with many characteristics resembling the man in the radio. Hopefully this explanation cleared everything up. You're still probably wondering what happens now that you have all your memories. I mentioned earlier that God's basement are for those who are still redeemable. Even though you committed an atrocious sin, you were trapped in a hopeless existence. Also, the person you killed wasn't really your grandmother. She was a shell of her former self. Your grandmother died long ago. Part of you wanted to see her suffering cease. Your crime was both cruel and merciful at the same time. You are going to get a second chance at life. Pretty soon you're going to wake up in a hospital bed out of your drug-induced coma. Learn to live with what you did. The feelings of guilt, paranoia, and pain will never completely go away. James. Make the most out of life, and be grateful for this second chance. One last thing. Good luck.